Good morning. Michelle here, mycrazyworkout.com. <laughs> Three weeks ago, my world turned upside down. We got a puppy three weeks ago to this day. This is Lacey. This is why I haven't been doing any YouTube videos lately because <laughs> Lacey has been <sighs> a handful. So Lacey is 11 weeks old tomorrow and she came from a litter of 13. She's a golden retriever if you don't know that. She is our fourth golden retriever. Uh, we had three other ones in, since we've been together and our last one passed right before Easter and we were looking. So Lacey came from a litter of 13, which is a baker's dozen. And so her name is Lacey Crepes because she had to have a baking name. She is a bundle of energy and I'm gonna try and get a workout done, but she's not staying out here. You might hear her scratch at the door. Oh, she's going whine. She wants down to play with her dad. So I'm gonna let her dad and let him entertain her. And I am gonna try and get this workout in today. Say bye, Lacey. Tell everybody bye. Tell them bye. Say bye. <laughs> March it out. I have, the sun is coming up right now, so it's literally right in my eyes. Uh, it'll raise and it'll go down here. Um, I have minimal equipment today. I didn't bring out any bands or tubes. I literally just grabbed a handful of things at the gym the other day uh, to do my workout. And I like this one so much, I thought, okay, this could be one of my videos. I don't even have a name. Let's call it the Crazy Lacy Workout because I always feel like I'm running in there and running back out because I know I gotta get everything else done plus take care of a dog. I forgot how, how much training they require. March it wide. Uh, it's been <laughs> 12 years. Uh, yeah, because or Zoe was 12 since we've had a puppy in the house. So it's all very exhausting. Tap it, toe tap, we're gonna reach up. So what I've done is I have three parts like I normally do on the bonus abs and I did, um, I've thrown upper body, some ab work in there as well, just in case I didn't have time. The bonus abs was a treat. I didn't get time to do them at the gym the other day, so I had to wait until Lacey was collapsed and down for a nap. And then there she goes, she's scratching at the door. When I bring her out here to swim, she doesn't want to be out here. <laughs> and when I'm out here, she wants to be out here, but she'll be under my feet, so we're not doing that. Sweep the arm across the chest. We're gonna warm up the arms. So yeah, everything is in pieces. Some days I get one part done, but if I go to the gym, then I can get a little bit more done as long as nobody talks to me. But that's always a trick in and of itself. We're gonna pull the arms in and pull the heels back. Just a quick warm up because part one will be a circuit warm up and we won't be using any weights for part one. It's just to get the blood pumping, but we're gonna hit everything. And I don't think you'll need weights, but if you want to, you can. Arms go out, get the back. We're gonna pull them down from overhead and pull the knees up to get the hip flexors on four, three, two, and one. Knees up. So yeah, since we've gotten her, it has rained practically every day. So it has been a real chore getting her out to learn how to go potty outside <laughs> when it's thundering and lightning and pouring down rain. <laughs> so, so I haven't really been able between that and all the rain, my pool deck's been wet and I, my camera would get wet out there. So it has been a real challenge to say the least, but that's okay. Four, three, two, you're gonna plant the feet, take a deep breath, inhale, inhale up. Lower it down, bend at the waist, flat back, plant that right hand, reach up with the left, bend that right knee, drop it down, flat back, lift up, 
drop it, inhale, raise up, inhale, and exhale, flat back down, plant that left arm, bend that left leg, reach up, open up that right arm, lower it down, bend the knees, straighten those legs, flat back, hold it here, bend the knees, come into a low malasana squat, not all the way because we're warming up. Rock the legs right and left. Plant the hands, take it over, step back, and you're gonna step back into that right leg, push that butt back, flatten that foot, get that chin. We're gonna roll up, and you're gonna come back. Roll up, calf on that right leg, Shin on that left. I hear my ankle popping. Do you hear that? <laughs> Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it here. Lunge forward. Press the heel back. Let's get that hip flexor. Bend the leg. Drop it down. One. Don't let that knee go past that front toe. Four, three, two, one. Hold it here. You're gonna turn, come into that Malasana squat, and you're gonna stretch out that left leg, that inner thigh. Plant the hands, left leg comes in, and you're gonna go over to the right side, press back. And you're going to come up and down. Lift and down. Here's four. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Whew. Hold it here. Push forward. You're going to raise up. Drop the knee down. Pelvic tilt. Hip flexor. Go down, halfway up. Get that hip flexor. Don't let that right knee come past that right toe. Two and one. Hold it here. Turn to the front. Sit onto the left side. Pull that, let that right leg up. This one I can't bend as far with this knee so I don't go down as far. Come back to the center. Walk the feet in. Tuck the head, roll the back up one vertebrae at a time. Deep breath, inhale. Hands to the front, prayer, pull down, exhale. All right. I'm warm because it's warm out here. Plus I've had to get all the equipment out, plus the dog, so I'm ready to go. If you're not ready to go, you can jump rope a little bit more or do something as a warm up. So. The cardio warm up is gonna be six exercises. We're gonna go through it three times, 30 second work, and then a 10 second break. So we're gonna immediately start out with 30 seconds on the clock, and we're gonna do our first move, and then the break will come after that. Changed it up a little bit at the gym because I needed to really get moving. So I just wanted to do something a little bit different. So the first one when I hit it is gonna be a squat, and then you're gonna do a right knee lift and you're gonna twist that left elbow to the right knee. Now you're not coming down, you're gonna come up. Bring the knee up to meet it. So it's not about how many you get, it's about how the, qu the quality of them, okay? So really concentrate and think about the obliques when you do this and the glutes when you squat. So I am gonna hit this timer and we are gonna go, actually I'm gonna put it on me, all right? So squat, knee. It's only 30 seconds. We're gonna do the left side next. Okay, squat with a left knee lift. And then we're gonna do a jump squat. And when we come in, we're gonna be on the toes. Remember, pull the knee up. 
Squat down. Feel it in your hips. Jump out wide, plant the feet. When you hop in, hop in on the toes. We're going to stay here. You're going to tap opposite hand to opposite foot. So make sure your head and neck are out of that turtle shell. Don't look under that body. Look out, flat back. Squeeze that butt. Hold it here, engage the core. We're gonna do plank jacks right here. today. Had to wear my new leggings. These are from Fabletics. Actually, they're not so new anymore. And it is hot. I was going to put on shorts, but I wanted to show them to you. I really like them. They're, they're high-waisted power hold leggings, and I love the color of them. Okay, second round. We're going through it. Remember, it's supposed to be cardio-based, but if you need to take a break, take a break a minute. March in place. Keep moving, and when you're ready, join in with me. Twist, squeeze that right oblique. We're gonna go to the left side now. Then we're gonna do those jacks. Squat down, lift, and twist. Remember, jacks are next. We're going wide, feet are flat. Hopping in on the toes. Squeeze that butt. Try and stay lower.
Down up, plank, push up. Hands go down and you replace the hands with the elbows. Pull forward, push up. Engage the core. Try to keep the body straight. those toe taps with the opposite hand. So engage the core, press out of the shoulders, look forward, don't look under the body. Ready? Plank jacks. Push out of the hand, push out with, push up through the hands, out of the shoulders, flat back. We have one more round. Now listen, you can do this. You can do sprints on the treadmill. You can do jump rope. But I put this together so that we warm everything up before we get into the cardio strength stuff. All the weights are optional. Towel off, get a drink if you need one. Otherwise, come with me, we're gonna do the last round. You should be breathing hard, but you should be able to speak and say a sentence, okay? So squat, knee up. Squeeze. Think about that oblique as you twist that left elbow over. Now, if you're warmed up, you can add your bands to these too. I wouldn't recommend it when you first start out if everything is cold, but maybe on the second and the third round, if you wanna throw the bands in, or if you maybe went for a run one day and have a little bit of time left, this would be a nice one to do. You can wear the bands for every move, make it more challenging. gonna hop out wide, jack, squat jack, hop in on your toes, flat feet out, hop in, squeeze, squeeze the glutes when you hop those toes in, go wide and lower down, Elbow planks next. Down up into a push up. Engage the core. Press out of the hands. Replace the hands with the elbows. When you do your push up, come forward. Go straight down. Elbows stay close to the sides. If you need to, down, down. You can drop to the knees. Oops, we stay down there. All right, engage the core. If you don't want to do these toe taps, that's fine. You can stay in a plank position. 
Sweat is running off of me, just pouring down my face. It's probably about 80 out here right now, so. But I, like I said, I wanted to show you the leggings. You gotta see how long not only the video takes, but then to edit it. Stay in your plank. We've got plank jacks. If you don't want to jump, you can do toe taps. If jumping hurts your knees, you can tap side to side or jump. Engage the core. Almost done. It's only 30 seconds. Now, if you're not gonna go on to this first strength part with me, you can click the bottom link and it will take you to the abs and the cool down. But if you wanna do part two and three with the cardio strength moves, you're gonna click the first link. So you got the warm up and a cardio circuit, all right?